Good morning, art friends. It's breakfast time. I want to point it out that this doesn't gain any younger. <laughs> well, this was a gift from uh, your friend Tyler, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. These come from America. Mini wheats. Oh yeah, wow, those look super sugary. Oh, oh my, oh my god. <laughs> oh, is it a taste test time? Mm -hmm. Okay, here it goes. Uh, is that a good sign? It doesn't taste anywhere near as sugary as you'd expect, considering the amount of like sugar. Well, considering how long it's been on the shelf, it might be just be <laughs> it might just be covered in dust, not sugar. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Hello, boys. I've come to. Oh my! Look at this was spotless last night. What did you? What did you do? Where are you? What did you do? No, oh, it's okay. I know you don't have thumbs, so I'll help. I'll help you tidy up. What do you think, Patches? Oh, oh, hello. Ooh. Now I know some of you guys, like Steph, have an iron deficiency, and the stuff that you get for it normally tastes pretty dang nasty. But Steph's found these called Gud Gummy, and they're little raspberry like. Gu oh, there you go. You can see them better like that. They're like little raspberry gummy sweets, and she takes one every day, and they've been really helping her. And because they've been helping her, I like to tell you guys about them too. It's not like a sponsorship or something. Oh really? No, it's not sponsored, guys. <laughs> Hello guys. It's me, Adamo. I'm gonna stream soon. And this is my guinea pig VTuber thing that I use, but a lot of people say that it's a pug, and I want I want your guys' opinion on it. Does this look like a guinea pig or a pug to you? Because to me, it clearly looks like a guinea pig. What do you think? Okay, I am on Procreate, and I have drawn this for my little secret project. And let me get a different layer up to show you guys. I love that picture. With Steph and the guinea pigs, that's my favourite thing. Yeah, I'm just showing them that one there. It's, so cute. it's still in the very rough, like, sketching kind of phase. So, this is what I'm working on while Adam's going to be live streaming because he. It's stream time. Please come to the streams. <laughs> <laughs> they're good, I promise. They're pretty, they're pretty good. Sometimes they're pretty bad, but they're pretty. They're okay. <laughs> Sometimes they're pretty bad. <laughs> that, that could be the slogan for the streams. Sometimes they're pretty bad. <laughs> Good morning, art friends. I've just got dressed. It's Tuesday. I need to go feed the pigs and then uh, hopefully do some art stuff. I feel inspired today. And also, I might nag Steph to give you a washi tape tour. Just a, just a quick one because, oh my God, we'd be here forever. She's asleep right now. She's, uh, she's over there. Good morning, my breakfast club buddy. How are you? Oh, look at those whiskers. You're adorable. Where's your buddy? Oh, hello. As you can see, they've been busy. Was this all you, Patches? Was you making a big mess? Oh, it couldn't have been you. You're so tiny. Tiny baby. You're the big strong dude, aren't you? Oh my god, guys. Is that Barry? Okay, it's so something that I've been working on. I, I don't want to give it away until like it arrives. Don't tell them what it is, they got to wait oh, okay, and see. Okay, you've got to wait and see. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Yeah, it should be next, like th uh, this time, like next week. Yeah, it should <laughs> definitely. I have been a busy boy, guys. Do you remember the Doodle Day Extra YouTube channel? Well, make sure you're subscribed to it because I have started mass uploading all of the Twitch streams that we do over on Twitch. Look at all of it. Look, it just keeps going. Look. And this is like hours of stuff for you to watch if you want to. Look at them all pending and processing and stuff. Isn't that crazy? But yeah, make sure you're subscribed to the Doodle Day Extra one if you're not because there's about to be a ton of extra stuff for you to watch. Hello art friends, I'm just getting ready to stream and I think today's the first day where I'm feeling 
really sort of cabin fevery, if that makes sense. It's, uh, I just want to go outside and sniff the air and I'm not allowed and that makes me sad. So what I'm going to do is hopefully stream tonight and have a doodle. Hopefully that'll make me feel a bit better. But uh, I miss going outside and I sit by the window all day and I see people like touching grass and I want to touch the grass too. <laughs> How are you doing? How's your week going? Today's Wednesday. I do hope you're having fun. I hope you're having more fun than me. Okay, I am currently setting up to stream. I'm gonna do some art. I'm gonna relax and enjoy myself. So, if you wanna say hi and be in the video, you can do it now. Oh, hello everyone. Hello. takes ages to dry. <laughs> Hello, yo. Hello. Got my glasses on so I can actually see things now. Okay, I need to decide on some things to do today because my schedule for so long has been to work on... The, the thing. thing. <laughs> <laughs> How did you know I was going to say that? <laughs> Now at the moment, we're just literally waiting until Tuesday when it comes. What do I do with that time? There's other projects I could work on, but I don't know if I really want to sort of cross paths when this one isn't technically fully finished, just... Uh. Yeah, it's like, you don't want to like sign off on it until yeah, you I'm know worried it's... To, I'm yeah, I'm very one track minded. If I start working on like another project now, I might get really caught up in that. And then when this other thing comes, it's so close to being like finished that I'll be like, ah, I'll put that out like next year or something. <laughs> I tried to do a few like homely touches to this place because it's mostly just boxes everywhere as you know since we moved in. You do intend to one day eventually hopefully purchase a place but we've got the hurdle first of getting a photo ID which we believe it or not have been applying for since we made like the vlog when we first moved in and it's been rejected every time because there's always like one small thing that we screw up on the form every time so maybe today i will also work on doing my photo id again <laughs> oh and you. also i need to try and contact the hospital because since i had to cancel my appointment before I've not heard anything back from them, and whenever we try call them, we can't get through to them, so no idea what's happening with my MRI. I mean, I, I, I keep trying to phone them, but it's always engaged, so I assume they I would hope send, send a letter. letter. But I'm really scared that they're gonna send one just saying, like, we didn't hear from you, so <gasps> you've been like wrong. I'd be so mad. <laughs> Today is Friday, isn't it? It's Thursday, genius. Oh, okay, that buys us an extra day to phone the hospital. Okay. Okay. Why did I think it was Friday? They're a hospital, hun. They don't close. <laughs> okay, so on our Discord, we have a little patron room where we hang out with everyone. And Cleo here is reminding me, thankfully, because I completely forgot, that it's the Rimsey's 20th anniversary. I made Rimsey's in August 2003. Oh, the Rimsey! Oh, I remember editing that. <laughs> what do you say? to a bit of a washy tour, hun. Well, that sounds like a good time. Did you guys know that Steph's been collecting washi tape for years? Firstly, my washi tape storage is from the lovely Anya from when we had a Amazon wish list. So yes, thank, thank you so you. much. Ooh. So these are like some little miniature ones that people have sent. These were like way back when we had a PO box. Oh, I used one of those in the first vlog thing that we did. I have a feeling that they came with something like real littles or something or other. Real like littles? That. Oh. Then I've got a bunch of different washi tapes over here. I'm trying to think of like what's the best way to uh, showcase these. So these were three that came together in like a mystery set and you didn't know like what colour you were going to get and these ones ended up being wow. purple themed. The one in the, the one on the far left is so thick. I didn't this one. I didn't realise they came that yeah, thick. Yeah, and it's got tons of designs on so you can like cut them out and use them as stickers. I've got a few of these where they're technically like washi tape stickers because you get like quite a few on a roll and I got a bunch of ones, I think it was with some birthday money 
All oh, right, so these are these are like stickers that are on a roll. Yeah, and I got them because there's like tons of different animals. So there's like a bear. It's this one. I think this one was a little cat, maybe. No, it's a pig. It's a dog. A little hamster. This one is oh, my favorite one. Oh, I like one. that one. Yeah. And I've got some spare space at the back of these two drawers so that I can still collect some more. To get even tips, more. Oh my god. Which we love that. Okay, so let's come up to this oh one now. Oh my god. <laughs> You might recognize a bunch of these ones because I got them like a long time ago from the Flying Tiger store, which sadly has closed down in our town, which is devastating. It's so sad. But I really love a bunch of these ones. They're so bright and colorful and they've got fun patterns on. Look at that. Yeah, they're wonderful. Was it Flying Tiger that you got the castle? Oh, it's there. I yeah, can yeah, see yeah, it. Yeah. The castle one from because we used that in the, uh, the very first vlog thing that I did too. Yeah, I put some of that one because I know you like medieval things, so I thought you'd probably. That can you tell because I did that prompt straight away. I was like, ooh. Well, here's yeah, like there a close it is. Look we've oh. got. And the swan. They are. I gotta admit, whoever does the art for them does a really oh, good I job. Oh, I love the artwork from the flying tiger, and these ones were flying tiger ones as well. These are like paper tips. Oh, were the other ones plastic then? Because they were very like glossy. Yeah, I think they've um, swapped over to only paper types now because they're more like sustainable. Plus they're not super shiny, so they're easy to film, which is nice. <laughs> if you saw the uh, mystery box unboxing when my friend sent me a package, this was inside that little gacha bowl. It's a little sushi washi tape, isn't oh, it? Oh, I cute? like that one. Ah, my friend got me these back when she worked in one of her old jobs. So these are um, duck washi tapes. The oh, like make... duck tape. Yeah, people. the duck really? tape people. The have like their own little washi tape line. Oh my god, I didn't know that. <laughs> I've actually got another duplicate of one of these because I bought some that were like a random lot and it, they ended up sending me like a duplicate of They're one very, of them. They're uh, very chunky boys. Let me show you these. Oh ones. wow! These are like washi stickers so these ones are all like little candy packets. And they're on a roll. Yeah and it's a huge roll of them so I've got like infinite candy stickers. Oh I love that, that's amazing. Then this one's also like a big roll and this one's got like gummy bears. Oh, that's cute. You haven't even opened that one yet. Um, a bunch of these ones are ones that Adam bought. Well, I'll, I'll put aside the ones that you bought because you probably don't want to claim credit for some of the ones that I got. <laughs> okay, so these but are yours, yeah? These are ones that Adam got. Uh, I think you got them from like cult pens. Oh wow, I'm impressed. And That's so nice. See, the company inside, it's MT. They're a pretty well-known uh, washi tape brand over in Japan, I believe. Oh really? So I got you good stuff? Yeah, I like yeah, the rainbow one. I was a big fan of that rainbow Yeah, you've one. used a few of these before to do um, when you've coloured in and like your drawings. the one on the far left is Prime Grandad Jumper Mini. I oh, love this one. Look at that That's thing. That's one of my favourites. This one is from a long time ago when we had our PO box. Someone sent us this one and I've still got it. Oh, that's an interesting. It's got like a, a bunch of different little animals on it, which is yeah, cute. Yeah, that one's ripped to a monkey. Then I've got my great British washi tape, <laughs> <laughs> which Ooh. Adam's not as much of a fan of. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I'm not the most patriotic person in the world. I just say. thought it was hilarious. <laughs> now this top one's one of my favourites because it's got um, quite a few pretty ones There's on it. There's quite a lot going on here. Okay, so these are some of my favourites. What were they? Uh, this one is called Village, and it, it looks like a little town when you oh, stick so it down. Oh, so as you pull it out, it's like yeah, a street. Yeah, it's really cute. That's really sweet. And this one's called Woodpile. But I just like the aesthetic. It's got like little wooden stumps and like uh It's like a beaver bushes. habitat. <laughs> yeah, you could make one with that. This one's like little fruit washy stickers. Oh, this is very you as well. I really like this one. Then here's a better look at the gummy bears. Ah, one... here we go. Oh my, oh my gosh, look at that. And they're all in like different gradient colorways. Oh, I love that. Now, these are some of our fancier washi tapes that I got with some Christmas money. Yeah, I got these right before we moved. Ooh. I'm trying oh, to get wow. them all in. So these are all uh, Christmas washi tapes that were from Paper Chase. I um, love the uh, the rainbow yeah, one. Yeah, I really like the rainbow and the candy cane yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, I like They're that. They're very classic. And then there's ones with like little gingerbread men and Christmas trees and candies and oh I love them so oh, I think much. It's a wonderful, yeah. I never got a chance to properly use them last year. For because obvious reasons. We were very busy being evicted but hopefully this Christmas 
will be less eventful <laughs> and I can just Look, she's an easy, have a little Christmas craft. She's an easy girl to please. All she wants is a Christmas where she's guaranteed a home and can play with her washi tape. That's all she wants. <laughs> these are also Pepper Chase ones and these are oh, come Mr. On. Men and Little Miss. <laughs> no, no wonder they're on the top shelf. You love those things. <laughs> As you might know, I you might have seen them in like my book tour before. I love the Mr. Men. Uh, two that I got from my friend Joy San, who is a YouTube artist. In, in case you didn't know as well, guys, Joy San uh, was responsible for that cat sticker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in your uh, the one that I tried to get arrested. <laughs> I, realized, I wonder if she saw that. If I realised it was Joy Sands, I might not have drawn it getting a run. <laughs> so one of these is a beach scene and the other one is breakfast and I love that breakfast one. So these ones are from a place called Suck UK. Yeah, S-U-C-K, yeah. And they look like sushi. Unfortunately named, but I mean look at it, it's good quality washi tape though. These ones look like donuts. Isn't that, that's such a cute, cute and clever idea. I love them. Donut tape. But I hope you enjoyed my washi tape tour. Yeah, that's all you're getting. It's been about two weeks, so I guess it's time to do another one of these. Well, the results are in and it's not good. It's still the same. Well, guys, I am back in bed. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my God, sorry. I am a little bit. Am I struggling? I think I'm struggling a bit that it was a, another positive test. I was really hoping that it would go away or it'd have like one line or whatever it is that it does. But I'm hot and I'm achy and I'm starting to get like a cough or something and uh, I feel a bit, I think, disheartened that it's another one. I just want it, like maybe it's because I'm just so impatient and cabin fever. I just want it to go away. But. I don't want to be one of those people that gets it and then just goes outside and does what they normally do anyway. I think that's like uh, super irresponsible and I won't be doing that. So uh, I'm just really, I think, I'm just really bummed out, I think. I, I think it's just annoying and it feels gross and I want it to go away. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm struggling a bit, I'm struggling a bit. That was disheartening, so uh, I think I'll try and find something to do to cheer me up a little bit, maybe. Now, speaking of things that make me happy, Steph's prompts in this book make me very happy. <gasps> they make you happy! Yeah, so I thought like a way to cheer me up might be to uh, do a sticker prompt together, because it's been a couple of days, and as you can clearly see, there is a lot to get through. Oh my god, it's Brindle and Bumble! It is! Who did these? Same one that did the Monty sticker. Really? I don't have the name of the person, but it's in like our sticker cupboard. Oh, okay. Oh my god, look at them. Wow, that's such a throw. I was already feeling emotional today. This is just making <laughs> me feel even more. Do you feel inspired to draw? Yeah, I just want to draw them. Oh my gosh, what should I what should I use? Oh my god, look at this pencil. <laughs> look what I've done to it. Ooh. Let me see if I can sharpen a bad boy in the uh, in the good old swordfish. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, oh, wow. oh look at that. Oh my god. Well, as uh, if you are a long time viewer of the channel, you will probably remember uh, Brindle and Bumble, who were our very first guinea pigs. Not necessarily first guinea pigs ever. Steph had guinea pigs before right, she knew me. Pigs. Yeah, she had girls, but uh, the first guinea pigs that we ever had together uh, were, Brind well, we had Brindle first, and he lived by himself for a while because he, gosh, Brindle, he has quite the story. Um, before Steph and I lived together, we would visit this pet place that had an adoption center. And that's when we very first came across uh, Brindle Pig. And we uh, we fell in love with him straight away because he was really big and he would always hide Swedes underneath his tummy. So the other guinea pigs couldn't like uh, see them or eat them. He'd like hold them under his big tummy. And we'd go and visit him lots and lots. And he was always there. And we would always say like, oh, he's waiting for us. He's so adorable. And one day we went there and he wasn't there. Like all the other pigs were in the rescue. I almost cried. Yeah, all the other guinea pigs were in like this rescue bit, but Brindle was gone. And we were like, oh my God, has he been adopted? But then we were like, but if he's been adopted, he's been adopted by himself, which is really weird. 
So we uh, found someone who was working at that pet store that day and we asked about him. And we actually said, oh, do you know where Brindle is? And obviously they didn't they didn't know because they were like, who's Brindle? So we had to describe what Brindle looked like. And this looks just like him. He had a tan tummy with brown fur and dark brown ears. And the person that was working there actually said, oh my gosh, yes, he is still with us, but he's in the vets. And we were like, oh no, is he okay? Because we were hopefully looking to adopt him one day. And they were like, oh no, he's okay. He got in a bit of a squabble with a pig and this pig bit his bum. So um, he, had, uh, he had a really scabby bum when we first got Yeah, him. he had to, he basically had to have like uh, some cream put on his bum to make his butt better. And uh, we were just relieved that he was still there. We were like, oh my God, that's amazing. He's, he's okay and he's still there. So we fast forward a couple more weeks and that's when Steph and I started to look for a place to live together. And uh, we found a place pretty quickly actually we were we were it's almost like it was fate we found a place pretty quickly and uh, we moved in together in a place that you've never seen but um it was it, like the mirror image of our old house because it was on the same street yeah. yeah but it was just a backwards version <laughs> and we moved in there and then we uh, adopted our brindle pig He's very sweet and we adopted him. And uh, it turned out, they said, that he was, uh, as a result, a special needs guinea pig. And that basically means that uh, he had some health issues and uh, he didn't, as a result of his falling out with the other pig, they said it would be better if he lived by himself. And we were like, oh, well, we weren't expecting that, but that's okay, yeah, we can do that. So we adopted him. And he lived with us for a very, very long time, and it was wonderful. But one day, we noticed that he was looking a little bit, well, not, not necessarily sad. He was looking a little bit lonely. And we were like, oh, well, it is in their nature to, to want a friend. And uh, we were like, well, we can try, we can try and get him a friend. So, long story short, we decided to go to the place that we got Brindle from uh, to see if we could find him uh, a little friend. We did find him a little friend in Bumble, in the adoption Where's center. Where's Bumble's ears right now? Oh yeah, I forgot his ears. <laughs> it's a right mole. <laughs> there we go. There we go, that looks more like it. That's well worked. So we go to the same place that we got Brindle those few months ago. And we have a look around, there's plenty there. So we were like, oh my gosh, there's, uh, there's so many. Now we imagine because Brindle was the older one, we were, and he's very big, we thought to ourselves, well, it might be good to have a look to see if there's any small ones or ones that look submissive. So there isn't any, there isn't any quarrels about who's the boss pig. And we had a look around in there and we came across Bumble and he was stood up by the glass, fogging the glass up, weaking at us. And it was like, oh, well, he looks like a good contender. Let's keep an eye on him. And after he stopped weaking at us for a little bit, he went off to play with his friends. And all of his friends were mounting him. I was going to say play with his friends. I'm not sure if that's what they were doing. <laughs> yeah. All of his friends were mounting him, which is basically like, oh, I'm the submissive baby. Oh, I don't want to be the boss. So we were like, oh, this looks perfect. He, he, he's submissive. He's like He let every shy. single pig in that cage like mount him. So we, uh, we spoke to someone that worked there and we said we were interested in this one pig. And look, the guy was very good because he said like, oh, are you just adopting one? Because guinea pigs tend to be in pairs. And we explained about Brendel and the guy remembered Brindle and he was like oh well okay if he's feeling a bit if he's looking and feeling a bit lonely you can try it and we took Bumble home and there's a photo I wonder if I can find it if I can find the photo I'll put it on screen of the day we've put them together to meet for the first there time was a size difference. there was a <laughs> huge size difference oh my god and on floor time when they had like their veggies and stuff it went really well uh, we were quite impressed with it and uh, we put them in the cage together and for about a day, uh, about a day, it went really well. <laughs> but after that day, Brindle, this dude, he's, he's very lazy and he liked the idea of being the dominant pig until he realized that it involved a lot of work. So he started getting lazy and he didn't want to mount him or rumble strut him or all the textbook like, um, 
signs of uh, being dominant, Brindle just gave up. He's like, oh, I don't want to do this. So then Bumble, who was like literally four times smaller, that's not an exaggeration. The size of like my thumb. <laughs> started to mount Brindle, who was huge. And we were like, oh my God, how is this? What is going on? And we were like, and Brindle, Brindle wasn't fussed at Aww. first, but because Bumble was like, oh look, he's such a big boy that I can, because I think he was excited because he was never able to be the dominant one before. <laughs> yeah. So he started doing it loads and Brindle. <laughs> Brindle didn't have the biggest of fuses to begin with. But one day he got really mad and he started chattering his teeth and you know like show not biting him but like showing his teeth which is a sign that a guinea pig's angry so he thought like whoa that's not good we don't want them fighting brendel will probably sit on <laughs> i'll probably sit on her bumble and crush him so we got them separate accommodation and we put the cages next to one another so they could be next door neighbors. so they're basically neighbors yeah they can see one another they can interact with one another and the rest it was basically history. Like, uh, Brindle was very happy to have his own space. Bumble was happy because he was able to see him. He, he was able to have that social interaction. And we'd still get them out sometimes uh, for floor time where they would be together. But I always remember this one floor time when it was Bumble's birthday. <laughs> and uh, yeah, Steph knows. We decided to get them out to have some vegetables together, like a little, like, like a little birthday party, you know? And uh, we decided to get them out and we sat them together. Steph prepared like some cucumber slices and there was some carrot and, you know, different bits and bobs. And we get them out and put them together. And Brendel literally ate all of his birthday treats and then went home. <laughs> and we, were, we were like, Brendel, you can't. It's your, you can't do that. It's your, it's his birthday. And he was like, I could do what I want. I'm a big boy. He didn't talk to Bumble at all. He just ate all of his birthday food and then went home. <laughs> yeah, that's it. He was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna eat all your food and then go home. He's like a party crasher. We do a bit of shading then, cause Bumble, oh my gosh, Bumble was so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Beautiful Bumble. He had such dark brown fur, but he had like a, the cutest pink nose and he had one white, well, no, we thought for a really long time he had one white toe, but he had a secret second one that he kept secret for a very long time. I think about them, but obviously they're both not with us anymore. And uh, I think about them every day. Yeah, I love them. in like a special little box. Yeah, like we have. Keep them in the bedroom. Yeah, we keep them in the bedroom, and I, I put them by the window, and it overlooks like a field with grass and stuff. And you might think that sounds a bit like cliche and lame, but I, I like the idea of them being able to see like a nice view. Does that make sense? I'm sure guinea pigs appreciate a nice view. Uh, well, I think they do anyway. As you might know, I've got a brush pack and I've been playing with like some of my brushes to see what I can come up with. Yeah, look at the... I didn't oh. really know what to draw, so I've drawn a strawberry that's like upside down, kind of looks like an octopus or something. Ooh. And I've got this guy down here. I did. love the texture on that one. That that looks traditional, hun. That's, that's actually really cool. What I've been trying to sort of achieve with like these brushes. I mean, look at that. Especially like the, I was going to say the dark aura around this. <laughs> these are in one of the packs that I've already got released. Ah, oh, okay. I these ones are called the Steffa Brush Pack, if I remember correctly. And they're meant to sort of mimic traditional mediums. You've got like such a little audience. Oh, you're on. coming to watch Crest It's like, oh yes, did you know that these brushes are on Steph's gum road and you can buy them? Do you want me to draw you, Crest Yes. Okay, so... This one's meant to look like a pencil. Oh yeah, it, do it does. And I've got it on like a paper texture on the background. I hope the camera's like picking it up because in real life, yeah, that looks awesome. They always get super hyped up when we sit next to them. It means that we have your trust, don't we, sweetheart? And that means a lot to us. Oh, look at her, it's a little baby. Well, that looks awesome. Quick sketch of Crest in there. Let's get another layer up. Um, I might be biased, but I think that Steph draws the best guinea pigs. I'm sorry, everyone. Not in the entire world. In the whole world. Wow. Let's get like a crest and color up. This one's a marker. Oh, okay. On a full opacity. There we go. Oh, wow. You've picked that color. That's perfect for him. Again, guys, you can get these on Steph's gun road if you're curious. And they're awesome. They're called Steffa brushes and they're perfect. Mm -hmm. 